Hey, you fuckers, how you going? Don't swear in front of my children. Isn't that right, Oxen? Yeah. <laughs> this is Oxen. He's here and he's going to help me today because I'm running out of ideas for this commentary stuff. So this is Ali. She's a 15-year-old dog on Stephen's leg. Uh, thanks for coming in, Stephen. Um, he picked a great picture. I really wanted to get the oldness of this dog. That was my main objective. What do you reckon, Oxen? Did I get... Oh, you, did you see the end? Yeah, it looks pretty old. Looks yeah. old? <laughs> Not the tattoo, the dog. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, what am I doing here? This is, I'm into the black now. Just missed it, but I, all that, there's white fur at the bottom, so I just really got a nine, nine mag out. And when I get the nine mags, well, you tattoos will know, they come in stacks of five and four, the bug pins, and sometimes they stack real high so I'll take them apart and push them stacked so they're almost a flat nine. Not quite, because you want a bit of room in there for the ink. And it makes them, you, know, you get them on the edge, they, could almost, they cut, they're almost cut. That's why you don't want it flat, it'll just cut the skin. But, and it's really good for lining, you know, just light grey to line it until I can get to the black, because I want to come back and do the white. I don't want to do the white and then get all that black that you can see now and smudge it back over the white. Wouldn't be cool, would it, Oxen? No. No, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Yeah. Those hundreds of tattoos you've done. No. no? <laughs> so, oh, that's it. The black's done there. Now I'm coming back with the greys and the, I've got like a periwinkle um, lavender. Wild lavender, I think it's called. And it's almost purpley blue. Works well with that uh, blue fur, white fur transitioning into black. Well, it's almost blue, but it's not. It's really hard to do white fur on an old dog that's dirty at the beach. There's so many different colours in there and you just want to do white and then you do the white and you go, well, where's the depth? And you've got to come back with darker greys and then it looks like a cave. It's really hard. It's really challenging to do white fur. Unless you're good and then it's probably not challenging at all. But it fucking is for me anyway. Don't swear in front of my children. <laughs> There's their little eyes. I didn't even notice until uh, later on that the eyes were brown, which was really good because in a black and white dog, I'm busting my ass to get any colour and I can. Any colour is better than anything. That's why this, he wanted the, definitely wanted the dog at the beach, so this is, I used as much bright colours as I could around the black. <coughs> and even the sand was like yellows and browns and nice bright. You can see there, I'm putting a bit of really almost white yellow in the sand, just to brighten it up around it. The dog actually does look really old when you finish. Well, that was the plan. That's, that was my aim at the start, to make sure it looked old. Like, how was it, it died yet? It's dead. Oh. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's a, it's a tribute, Oxen. That's the whole idea of this tattoo. Oh. Yeah. So what do you reckon, Oxen? Good? Yeah, pretty good. Happy? Yeah, you've done better though. Have I? Oh, thanks, man. You don't say that. You say this is the best I've ever done, and then we move on. It's the best, Dad. Thanks, man. Anyway, Stephen stopped halfway through this tattoo to let me do another tattoo for three fucking hours, and then jump back in. That's how tough he is. Fucking three-hour break. Then he's jumped back in. That's that's um that's a man for you. All right. Thanks for watching. Hashtag old shop, not the new one.